so much for being here to both of you. We're so excited. So fitting for our Valentine's Day episode. We have a real live married couple. I love it so much. So let's just dive right in here. It's Valentine's Day. We're talking romance. What are some of the romantic things you do for each other as a married couple? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> we, ha we have a problem. Like, you were talking about flowers. Natasha's really, like, hyped on All flowers. women love flowers. Yeah, but it's like, it's like bringing a corpse home. That's how it feels to me, you know? It's like I'm just bringing a thing home so that it can sl it immediately begin to die. You know what I mean? Like, I want to bring you something permanent, like, like a statue or a, a work of art or, or a, an Xbox One, something that you would love. Yeah, something that she would love for sure. So now he just splits the difference and gets me nothing. Not <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Oh. Well, here's a question. Before you were married, when you were both single and dating, were romantic gestures a big part of your dating life? I mean, I have broken up with men because of their romantic gestures. I've had two different boyfriends take me to Disneyland. Wait, wait, I don't get it. I mean, I just didn't want to go there. <laughs> so you broke up with them? Two, two different people I've had to break up with. Actors and improvise, like, a lot of people love Disneyland. Do you like Disneyland? It's okay. A lot of people think it's, like, a very romantic place to take in. I don't know woman. if I just, <laughs> Would you describe this as romantic? No. no, right? Well, it depends. You know, that cup ride, if you get freaky enough, it can be romantic. You know? Okay, fair. Yeah. Fair. Speaking of freaky, Moshe, I'm told that you learned about sex at a very early age, and that is because... I'm going to read this right off the card just to make sure I get it right. Your mother would take you to a sex shop to learn about the birds and the bees. I need to know everything about this. Okay, hold on. First of all, the audience got real weird. Like, yeah. who among us has not been taken on a porn shopping field trip with their mother? <laughs> Oh, okay, I guess literally all of you. Okay, the thing about my mom, my mom was like a hippie, kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, crunchy granola lady. And when she found out, like, when I hit puberty, she was, like, real afraid that I was going to get into porn because she thought it was objectifying towards women, which, uh, you know, now we don't think that. Uh, you know, we, we think it can, it can be empowering if it's, like, feminist porn or something like that. Yeah. And I'm, I, 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 well, no, you never heard of feminist porn? It's a thing. It's definitely a thing. Yeah. Or what, I try to do it. I try to wa When I watch, I'll whisper in the computer screen, you go, girl. I'll do that to, like... <laughs> like, I want to lift every voice. But my mom brought me to, like, a feminist vibrator shop to buy me, like, you know, like, er like text-based erotica, which, like... I mean, when you're that young, you're so horny, you're like, you know what, I'll, I'll let my mom buy the porn. I'll let her do it. But the problem was she was also doing some, like, shopping for herself. No. <laughs> 100%. Yeah, no, so I had to watch her. She's, like, slapping on accoutrement for her, like, Hitachi. Do you know what a Hitachi magic wand vibrator is? I, I don't. Well, I do because I used to hear it in my house growing up. So that's the reality <laughs> I live in. Wow. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. My, my Indian upbringing cannot relate at all right now. <laughs> Wait, did you learn about sex in a similar way? Um, well, I'm from the Midwest, and basically, when I turned 16, I would just sneak out of my uh, window and give blow. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I mean, I was just very, I mean, to like, you know, a select group of boyfriends. Of course, of course. No, there group of boyfriends. A, yeah, there'd be like a line of boys in the front yard just waiting. But my mom was very strict, so she was always like, you can't wear tight clothes. So I would, like, hide my tight clothes, like, outside, like, under the snow or whatever, and then I'd go leave, be like, okay. Under the snow? Or if it was snowing or cold, I don't know, I would just, like, hide it behind, like, the radiator outside, and then I would do a quick change when my friends would come to pick me up. And we like to, sometimes now in our relationship, we'll, like, recreate. So, like, we like to do, like, role-playing a little bit. <laughs> So I'll make her hide like a kind of naughty outfit outside, and then she comes in from the cold, and I'll, I play her mom, so I'm crying in the kitchen. <laughs> you two are a couple goals straight up. You're so weird. <laughs> I love it so much.